Hi guys. So I'm gonna do a little video about building an M50 stroker. I know there's already a few videos out there, but I still feel like not 100% of everything has been covered. So there's still people watching videos and they have questions about the whole M50 stroker build. So this build consists of taking an M50 B25 TU engine and using the internals of an M50 4 B30 from a E46 330i. <clears throat> so when you're using an M54 crank, so this, uh, this is actually, uh, this is an M50 block. It's already been decked and it's been honed. And I've just, uh, I've put in the, the crank, the M54 crank with a rod and one piston. And when you, when, when, the, when the crank is at TDC on cylinder four that is here, you can see that the piston doesn't go all the way up. So the one big question about this build is what is gonna be the compression ratio of this engine at the end of the build? There's a, there's a few videos that are, or threads on forums that are saying that it's gonna be between 10.1 to one to 10.3 to one, but nobody is actually certain on that. Um, I've actually calculated the compression ratio. If you just, you know, if you just deck the block by one thou of an inch, and you deck the head about a thou of an inch, and you put this engine together with a standard head gasket, which is uh, this one. Uh, I think it's it, I think it's like one point seven five mil. The compression ratio of this engine is only gonna be like 10 to one. So, I mean, if I'm doing this build, I, I, I want, you know, I wanna get as much power as possible out of it. So I would definitely wanna increase the compression ratio. So I have actually decked the block 24 thou, which is 0 0.6 of a millimeter. Um, this will give me a compression ratio of about 10.8 to one, maybe 10.9 to one. So pretty much in the high tens. Um, <clears throat> another thing about this build that not everybody knows about. So this engine only had 140,000 kilometers when it was pulled. After 140,000, very surprisingly, but there is a ridge here. So, let it focus. There is a ridge right here, and you can feel it with your nail. This is from a normal like wear and tear, so this is where the compression ring ends up when it goes to the top. This is the, the highest point with the stock M50 B25 uh, pistons, uh, rods and crank. Because the stroke is longer with the M54 stuff, your compression ring actually goes higher than this ridge. So very important here. You have to get rid of this ridge. If you don't get rid of this ridge, you will destroy your compression ring in about five to 10,000 kilometers and you're gonna be tearing apart your M50 again. Okay. Um, for the cylinder head. I actually decided to use an M52 cylinder head. It, it can be an M52 B28 or a B25, whatever. The M52 cylinder head is the same head as a very late M50. So it has to be 1994, um, 10th month or, or after. Uh, the reason for that is that the valve springs in the early M50 TU head are crappy. They're actually, uh, they're actually, they're, they're different uh, design than, uh, than the M52 springs and they're not as strong and you can't rev the engine as high with those as with the M52 style springs. The reason I'm using an M52 head, because first of all, it's the same as S52 head. Uh, second of all, because the springs that I wanna use, the valve springs, are actually from an S62, which is an E39 M5. 
those springs are the same springs as an S as the S52 springs. You can actually find those springs in the E36, 318 IS engines. Uh, they are uh, those engines are meant to be revved higher, so that's a better choice of the valve spring. You also need the the, the valve, all the valves are actually the same, so you just need the valve spring, the bottom seat, and the top uh, plate of the valve uh, that holds the valve spring. Um, <clears throat> what else? If you're gonna be tracking the car, um, which I will be, I'm putting it in an E34, uh, and it will see track time. Um, this is another cool thing you wanna do. This is an M50 oil pan. You can get an Archelis Motorsport, uh, one of those uh, baffles, so and weld it into your pan. It actually helps oil starvation during cornering. So I thought, you know, once I'm there, I might as well do that as well. Another question that people have about the M50 B30 Stroker build: which cam um, camshafts to use and which. Uh, uh, camshaft, uh, I don't know what this is called, ledges or something. So I'm using the M5, M54 B30 ZHP intake cam, which is pretty much, if you want to go cheap, that's the highest duration cam you can use. Um, that's 200, uh, 246 duration or 247. And the exhaust cam, um, so most people just reuse this, the stock exhaust cam from M50, which is 228 duration, which I thought is kind of soft. So I'm, I actually went to BMW and I bought, a, I bought an S50 B30 US exhaust cam. That's the part number. I mean, it's 240 duration and I can't say it's, you know, it's not that expensive. It's only like $570 Canadian. So that's like, I don't know, under 500 bucks US. Um, the difference between using uh, the, the hydraulic lifters from an early M50 Vanos and a late M50 Vanos or an M52, uh, they are actually, so the early M50 ones are actually bigger and heavier. That's why I didn't want to use my M50 head initially because, you know, less weight, uh, the, the, the less weight the engine has, the easier it spins. That's why I'm not gonna use these. I'm gonna use everything from an M52 head. And for the torque specs, another important point. The torque specs for uh, the main bearings, okay, and the rod bearings, I see people are using torque angles. Torque angles are only when the engine is assembled at the factory by machinery. That's why they use torque angles. There's actually torque specs for the main uh, bearing journals and uh, the connecting rod bolts, okay? Uh, and the cylinder head bolts. I'm gonna post those uh, torque specs on my video in the, des the description, you can check it out. Um, I'm actually gonna be using ARP head studs and bolts because I just like ARP. And you never know, maybe I'll go boost one day, so that's gonna benefit. Um, I think that's it. I think that should cover it. If you have any questions, I'm gonna leave my email and you can write me a message and I'll, I'm gonna answer all the questions you guys have because I'm, I've been building S54 engines for a while and you know, this is my first M50, but I'm trying to do it as proper as I can and have the most info possible for this build for you guys.